Have you ever wondered why, why must life be so hard? Why is it so full of challenges? Why couldn't God have made things simpler and easier? Well, let's ask ourselves, if we look at fish in a fishbowl, what would they need to be content? Water in a confined protected container? Regular food? Maybe a companion or two? You see, a simple creature needs simple requirements. So how about a more complex creature? Let's consider wild wolves. What would they need to be content? Large, varied lands of forests and plains for them to, to hunt. So animals to hunt, water to drink, community with other wolves, shelter, place to make their own. And now we see that a more complex creature has more complex needs. So how about us humans? What do we need to be content? Well, a theory proposed by a psychologist in 1943 by the name of Abraham Maslow suggests three groupings of needs. First, our basic needs, which are quite similar to animals, for physiological needs such as food, water, warmth, rest, but also safety needs such as security and feeling protected. The next grouping is psychological needs. We've got needs as humans for intimacy, feelings of belongingness, love, relationships and friendship. Along with our psychological needs included in them are our esteem. We need to have feelings of accomplishment that grow our self-esteem. Let's have a look at those first two groupings of humanity's needs. In order to achieve our full potential, God has endowed us with a free will to choose to be good. We live in a world with selfishness and evil, and that can help us to choose to do good, to learn compassion by helping those who are suffering, to fight for justice and fairness for those less fortunate. The third grouping, and the final one, looks at our self-fulfillment needs, fulfilling our own creative potential, overcoming hardships to build our resilience, achieving our goals and dreams, satisfying our curiosity to understand everything, both small and great. So, as we can see that in order for there to be a hugely complex being such as ourselves, man, God needed to create an immensely complex universe. And that's the universe we inhabit. With mankind's God-built curiosity, we've been able to understand more of the workings of the laws of nature and of science causing man to look far out into our solar system and even beyond our galaxy uh, as far out as even to the first few seconds after the creation of the universe itself. And even that wasn't enough because as man journeyed looking to the far reaches of the universe itself uh, and understanding more of the fundamental laws of the universe set in place by God so man has been on a journey to understand the makeup of life itself. With the discovery of the design of DNA, to mapping full gene sequences of creatures as well as ourselves. With that too, humanity began to look deeper into the very building blocks of the universe itself, gaining further insight into the atom and deeper still. We continue to be driven as humanity to understand more of the complexity of what God has created as we ourselves are complex creatures. And so if you remember how we started this discussion, we said, does life have to be so hard, so complex? Our answer I hope now is that due to the intricacies of humanity, above fish or wolves, a demand is placed on an intricate, complex universe for our existence. Thank God for his creation.